go back at Tortuga to get our pirate crew and so that we can find the chest seems like we found Elizabeth working behind the bar she's like where's Will just like haha you want Will you need to find this chest And it's Commodore Norrington. <laughs> Keeps just trying to explain everything. So which is like, yeah, sure. I'll help out. There we go. <laughs> Compass is broken. So what you're gonna do is when you load up, you wanna grab this and you want to find the compass items so find the banana first get it over and done with like always just follow the path so we're gonna go over here get the banana go give it to one of these two over here first I'm going to get just number one <laughs> look at the monkeys running after him because he's got a banana <laughs> right so just number one we can't get because it's across the uh, the bug so we'll try a different one Always with these, you just want to follow them Unt until you get to where you're meant to be. So, X marks the spot. You're gonna need some digging. There we go. Oh, we found the, uh, the parasol. We'll go give it to him. We don't need that right now. So we'll go for number three. What's behind chest number three? Walking. Here we go. Oh, we got some flowers. Little garden. Aha, it's a mini kit. So now when we come to free play mode, that one will be a blue stud. So, chest number four. We will get there eventually. We will find the heart. we need to go. There we are. Find a little tornado. So we'll just keep digging. See I'm trying to press circle to build where it keeps pulling out the compass because I wasn't in the right spot. There we go. So we need a Coconut from the tree over here. She's gonna climb the tree, jump on the green bar to pull it down and grab a coconut. I'm gonna 
put that on because we're going to aim it at the starfish. There we go. Starfish done. So that we can get inside this boat. Oh, it gives us some bombs. Gonna jump up. And fall down. It's always great. So we're gonna try and jump across. There's no way into the boat. So close. It doesn't help that we respawn there, so we'll swap characters. I'm trying to wait and see if the computer uh, helps track it over, but it doesn't, so we'll just have to try and jump across. Didn't quite make it that time. There we go. We'll try again and we'll get across. Jump up, there we go. And then we'll use our compass to get the final chest. There we go. Oh no, a big giant crab. Which will throw us across. And then what you want to do is you'll want to use the wheel to spin the catapult to face the crab and then get the coconut so we'll jump up grab the green bar pull it down and fire it at the uh, crab bit of a slow walk with the uh, coconut but it's fine Boom. Now to go get the other one. There we go. Nearly there. There we go. Mr. Crabbered. And then he made a lovely little bridge for us to get across. Again. And this one's big one. And it's got the chest we're looking for inside. Here we go. Oh, you can hear the heart going beep beep boop boop. I know that's not quite how the heart works, but Oh, here comes Will with the key. they all get into an altercation over the heart. Each have their own reasons. Will wants to set his father free, Jack wants to clear his debt, and Narrington just wants to get his status back. Meanwhile, Elizabeth's all like, oh no, oh. Meanwhile, the other two find a chance and take it for themselves. Got to chase Jack now. Got to fight Jack because he's got the key. So just gonna attack him until he gets one heart down. And he jumps up. So first of all, we're gonna build this. I think it's like a gear or something. Now we're going to take it over here. To put it in so that we can get a hammer to fix the thing. Go. I'm trying to pick the hammer up. There we go. And now we can be like Mr. Gibbs. And fix things. A fixy fix fix. In we go. Now we need to hit the target. 
as it brings down a bar for us to run up so that we can get to the top. Try and grab that green bar too soon. That's my issue. There we go, and then we go on and we'll jump, which brings down a ladder. And then we can attack Jack again. Oh, but we fell down. So it's at this point that I realised I could have just grabbed the ladder. Oh well. Out we go. We're going to follow Jack out. Now you're going to want to grab the torch. Because you're going to need it in a minute to blow up some dynamite. Having a bit of difficulty getting on the climbing wall. There we go. We're going to blow it up. that we can get up. There we go, now you're going to use will to throw and hit the target to build this climbing thing. And out we go and we're just going to follow Jack across. We go, and as you can see as you're going across it's undoing like little ropes so if you do fall off you can just grab the ropes. Follow it all the way around. There we go, and we're gonna find Jack now. Rooftop fight! Now, this next bit may make you a little bit motion sick because it's the part where they fight on the wheel. <laughs> Jack fell off, landed on a pig. Hey, it's Logo because he's still got the key. There we go. Jack's been caught up. Oh, I did that too soon. So, what you want to do is you want to hit Jack whenever he comes towards you and it gets him unstuck. Now, what I recommend doing is having one character in the middle to fight Jack and one character at the top so you're not constantly jumping in and out and it's this bit that makes my make you feel a bit motion sick. So there you go, so you can just switch between the two characters. There we go. And we'll keep doing that until Jack has no hearts left a good sword fight in the middle and then Jack falls off here we go picking him back up again oh I missed it here we go he's coming back around and kaboom so now I switch back to Will and give it a good old sword fight And look away so we don't get sick. Now Jack's up top, and you just want to fight Jack with the character that you've got up top, whether it be Will or Norrington. Here we go, they're being chased by David Jones's men because they think he's got the heart. Go. Oh, there's David Jones's heart. It's got a little sea cap on it. That's it, just stick somebody's head inside. They'll never know the difference. There we go. Now what you want to do with this one is, is you want to destroy each one of the men in the time frame because they do come back. This can be quite tricky. 
it's just about getting the right character, preferably to do it. So I was thinking shooting might be a quicker way, but it doesn't seem to be doing me any good because when they get close, Well, we got two out of five, but as you can see, the crewmates build them back up again, which is why you've got to kind of do it as quick as possible. There we go, and we've done it. We got rid of all five of them. <laughs> Jack hiding his heart in the jar of dirt. Here comes Norrington to take it away. Seems like he's doing a good thing and sacrificing himself when in reality he's got what he needed and he's out of there. Meanwhile Jack's smugly thinking he's got what he needs. See I never understood why they didn't think to check the chest before going back to Davy. But hey ho. You know make sure the heart's in there before you return back to the boss. But hey ho. Also, if you like the background music that's going on throughout the series, it's by a guy named Darren Curtis, he does copyright free music. Um, his YouTube and everything will be in the description below, so if you like it, check it out. Just thought I'd give him a shout out, seeing as he makes copyright music that I can use for the videos. 